wanted happiness. I just wanted a normal life. With no restrictions. With no one telling me what I have to do. It wasn't my choice at all. Yet, what else could I have done? When I look back at those times, the times that brought me joy and incredible sorrow, I was now the center of my life. Why can't I get over it? My love may be gone, but my love will never die. Take part in a young man's explorations of his own perception as he sifts through the memories of a troubled time. Experience the memories that uplifted him and the memories that sent him crashing down to the earth. This is a story of exploration and observation, not about pervasive horror and monsters. Feel free to relax and allow the narrative to sweep you into someone else's mind. If this is your first time playing, please shut off commentary tracks. I believe those are turned off. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. The Call of Cthulhu, H.P. Lovecraft. Interesting. I think I actually kind of just wrote creepy pasta about that. <laughs> just saying. I don't know how creepy it turned out to be. It just kind of took off in its own direction. That's what happens when I sit and write. I'll just kind of... I don't know, it started out creepy, and then it started out just being all weirdly... poetically analytical, I don't know. And then I just kind of immediately cut off and did a totally... Uh, 180 on it, and so... I don't know. Maybe I'll see what people think of it. Anyway. Why is this loading screen taking so long? Yes, yes, we know about the Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu. I actually never... What was it? Played it? Read it? Whatever it is? Never... Never heard what Cthulhu was. Anyway, okay, cool. Maybe. It's already 9.30, Samuel! I'm not going to call you again. Mrs. Listener will be here any moment now. Oh no! I've got to get dressed and comb my hair before they get here. My mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh cry. Oh cry, cry, cry. Your voice is just angelic. I know you don't like people talking about it, but still. So yeah, as it said in the beginning, this isn't really very horror related, it's very story driven. Which is one of the reasons why I, I like this mod a lot. It is among my favorites. And so I'm not gonna actually be going around tossing pots and talking to Jorge and Juan or whatever else. I'm just gonna be playing through. So, got a lantern. And look, it's my clothes. I can wear them so I can go down and see mom. Damn, it's wrinkled. Oh, mom doesn't notice it. Heh heh heh. Sure she won't. She's a mother. She has to notice. Alright, close the closet. Because we're not slubs. Well, actually, maybe we are. But we'll pretend not to be. Are there anything in these drawers? No? Seriously, who would have empty drawers? Chest with drawers with nothing in them. That's just depressing. Okay. We'll leave our door open. Why not? I find myself back here after all this time. My head revolves around these moments like staring incessantly at the surface of the earth, trying to understand what it is that keeps it there. I'll be very quiet through a lot of this, probably, because it's just that kind of story. I really... I like how they built this house. It's just so... It's like... so majestic. 
and yet it's got a, more of a mansion feel than a castle feel. And I love that chandelier, it's so big. Welcome, Mrs. Listener. Oh, and who might this be? This is just my daughter, Mary. Mary, this is the lady of the house, Mrs. Crenton. Hello, Mrs. Crenton. Hello, dear. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. I hope you don't mind, but I didn't want to leave her alone at the house. It's all right. We'll introduce her to Samuel when he gets down here. There you are, Samuel. Just look at your hair. I don't have a mirror. It looks all right. This is Mary Listener. Hi. Hello, Samuel. Where did you get that dress? Looks like you got it from a store. And here my leg comes Samuel! Ouch. It's okay, madam. I would like to get started as soon as possible. Of course, of course. If you just follow me into the dance hall, I'll show you where you can get started. I'll talk to you very soon, Samuel. Am I dressed too simple for you? Have you looked in a mirror lately? Shut up, servant girl. I own my own house. You'd be emptying my chamber pots just like your mother. Oh, I'm sure. So, are you going to show me around, or what? Yeah, fine. So, this is a very unique custom story. Because, you know how, you know, unless you, like, import models, you don't have other people actually going around. So, it's, it's highly imagi imagination based. Um, you, like, have to imagine... Um, the other characters, which you know leads to leads to a lot of just openness for yourself. Oh, it stinks in here. What are you talking about? It smells wretched, like something died in here. I should hope not. Do you have rats? Uh, no. You do have rats, don't you? No, we don't. Be quiet. <laughs> oh, I love this. These voices are very good. And, yeah, I'm not just saying that about Cry. All these voices are very, are very talented. All these actors are talented. They should go into being professional. And this is the way back out to the main hall. So... And like, I'm not gonna be like throwing around stuff. I wanna keep it as like... Um... Don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> you definitely have rats. How do you not smell that? There wouldn't be any rats in here. This is where we keep our food. Have you thought about getting a cat? No, we don't need one. Sorry, you're real thick-headed. You know that. It's very immersive. That's the word I'm looking for. We cannot go into the servants' quarters. So... Samuel and Mary will go off elsewhere. We're kids, we'll run. This is the dance hall. When Dad has a lot of company over, we eat and dance here. I don't suppose you know how to dance, do you? I know how to dance. I don't mean running about, kicking your legs in the air. I mean civilized dancing. I've seen a common folk dance. It's all very crude and improper. There's nothing wrong with how my folk dance. <laughs> so cute. This is where Dad keeps his wine. We have quite a bit of it, actually, but Dad never lets me down here without him. <laughs> For good reason, no doubt. Nonsense. I'm gonna do anything wrong down there. <laughs> really? You wouldn't want to sample a few bottles down there? What's wrong with that exactly? Nothing, I suppose. <laughs> I 
No, don't go in there. Dad's busy. And what's he so busy with? He's an attorney. He works at Jacob, Cranton, and Rosenberg office in town. He makes a lot of money. He steals a lot of money. Run! Is it always so dark in here? Not always. The sun hits the back home directly at certain times of the day. It's so gloomy in here. It's depressing, really. It doesn't bother me much. I'm used to the darkness by now. Harrison's predicament. Mr. Lawrence Jacob. I just received a telegram from Rosenberg in London. He's finding the weather agreeable, and his hotel room is cozy enough, but complains that the food is atrocious and bland. If he didn't say the same about any of his meals in the States, that would be something to talk about. He met my friend George Harrison to discuss the zoning errors made with his property. Half of his estate lies on government property, and the government is offering to buy his estate in order to keep the surveying and rezoning process relatively simple. George refuses to move, and I feel the need to intervene before he decides to punch the representative in the face. I must remember to thank Rosenberg for his assistance in that matter. George is a dear friend, but incredibly stubborn, and I thought it best for Rosenberg to lay the options out in a calming manner. George can be a damn fool sometimes. Anyway, I will be back in the office sometime in June after I have met with my clients in North Carolina. You will have my address there. Please keep me abreast of the situation with the Johnsons. Howard Crenton. Father collecting them when he was alive. I know that much. My father's been collecting them as well. You! <laughs> Bless you. Why are you so shocked to see so many books? Oh, I love reading. If I owned this many books, I wouldn't rest until I read every single one, cover to cover. You enjoy reading? Of course I do. Do you mind if I borrow one? I suppose it wouldn't be a problem. Gosh, there's so many here. Fine, but you better take good care of it. That'll kill me if he finds out about this. <laughs> Quote the raven nevermore. Come on, I want to show you the rest of the house. Fine, let's go. <laughs> Just kind of falls off the shelf. My great-grandfather built this place. He built a large chapel for him and his friends to worship God in. My great-grandfather was rich, but he was fairly eccentric. How so? Well, he believed himself to be a direct descendant of God. Like Jesus? Yeah, like Jesus. After my great-grandmother died, he believed the end of the world would come and try to get people to follow him. He wanted everyone to change their ways. My dad said the grief was too much for the bear, and he wanted all those around him to understand the suffering. So did he succeed in recruiting people? For a bit, he made his followers donate all their wealth and made them forsake their old life completely, which meant leaving behind families and friends and becoming chased. And they just did this? Gave up everything just like that? I guess so. I guess he just had a way with words. Did your great-grandfather forsake his old life? Well, my family's been living in this mansion ever since that day. I can't imagine my grandfather, his son, just being thrown out like that. The 
chanting is interesting. For some reason I'm thinking there's a paper in here. It's been a while since I played though, so I don't know. Like, I'm even commenting quiet quietly. Maybe it's elsewhere. How big is this place? It feels so empty. It's not that large, really. Most of the other families have houses that are larger. Not that large, you say. You'd hate to see my house, then? Yes, I'm sure you live in a one cottage in the middle of nowhere. It is not. My house is even larger than this. Ah, kids. That's better. Fancy going up into the attic? Uh, no, I'd rather not. Why not? It's rather, uh, well, uncomfortable up there. Why? Look, I'd just rather not. Oh, come on. Let's just go up. Don't! Uh, stop! Get back here! Dirty up here. I suppose it is. It's pretty dark, too. Where are you going? I can't see you. <laughs> Bet you can't find me. business being back here. Ah, uh, yes. Wouldn't want to look yellow in front of the girl, would you? Shut up. <laughs> hey, let's see what's in here. Order of the Sacred Cross Manifesto. I am the Lord thy God. Thy God. Thou shalt have no strange gods before me. 
as the High Rector of the Order of the Sacred Cross, it is my sworn duty to ensure that God's will is upheld by all men, and that no heathen gag silences his voice. Having spoken with God in my dreams, only I know what is expected of us, of the sacrifices we must perform in his name. Allow me this moment to enlighten you, or face severe consequences in hell. To be allowed entrance to heaven, one must free themselves of their earthly shackles and, and submit themselves to God. To desire soiled material goods that all mortals crave is to admit Lucifer into your hearts. Be it money, a house, a woman, or your own children, the only road to salvation is to remove yourself from such mundanities. Entrusting all of these things to the High Rector, me, for proper disposal or caretaking will ensure you a place beyond the pearly gates. The will of God prevents me from being corrupted. You must be subservient to God's will. As God's mouthpiece, I will be forced to give you instructions based on his divine plan. Insubordination will not be tolerated. Your life is not your own, as only through God's generosity are you allowed to inhabit this planet. You will do as I say, or as God says or suffer eternally in hell. Know this, the Son of God speaks to you through this ink and parchment. When the progeny of the Dark Lord walks among the earth, there will be divine retribution on the mortal souls who ignored God's will and allowed pure evil to walk among us as equals. This day is coming soon. Prepare your souls, and I will offer my hand and spare you from hell on earth. Do that which I have stated above, and go with God. May my son be blessed with the same wisdom I have earned through loyal service, and may my descendants prosper within God. High Rector Joseph Alexander Crinton. What is this stuff? I like some old journals. Who is Joseph Alexander Crinton? He's my great grandfather. Those books really are old, aren't they? Let's bring these down so we could read them proper. Maybe some other time. I'm sure you'll be over again soon. We can do it later. Fine. Hey, do you feel like going outside? I thought your mother forbade us from going outside. She did, but I know a secret way out. My grandfather used to be a slave owner. One of his servants stuck out a tunnel in the wine cellar to help with the underground railroads. It led directly to the servants' quarters outside. Isn't the wine cellar locked? How are we going to get down there? My dad doesn't always have his keys on him. Let's see if we can do a study. Yeah, there's some issues there, but you know, it's hard to get anything to line up like that perfectly all the time. So it is forgiven. I doubt I could do any better. Convenient. The dad is no longer in here. Quick, where's the key? I don't know. Look around. There's nothing in here. Pretty high this. I just have on him. angles a bookcase like that. It doesn't make much sense, but hey. <laughs> I agree, Samuel.
look at all of these. You can make your own wine, but most of these are empty. Our vineyards haven't been doing as well recently. So where's this tunnel? Patience. All things make sense. You just have to fathom how they make sense. Piers Anthony. It's not too much farther. Oh, I shouldn't have worn my good clothes. Here we are. This is the servant's quarters. Yep, just a five minute walk from the house. Wow, this place is huge! You feel like going for a walk in the woods? There's a spot I like to go to when I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> sure. I bet I can beat you to it. <laughs> hey, you don't even know where it is! 